Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. Today we will finish off with the A6 Intruder. Type Grumman A6E Intruder, US Navy designation A6E and KA6D. Type carrier based all weather attack aircraft with tanker variant. Variants A6A, B, and C, only those converted to other variants still in service. EA6B Prowler, Advanced Electronics Development of EA6A, described separately. KA6D, Dedicated Tanker, 78 converted from A6A and 12 from A6E. Latest configuration has no weapon capability and can carry 1,514 liters or 400 US gallons or 333 Imperial gallon drop tanks. Fitted as probe and drogue receiver as well as tanker, drogue retracts into tunnel under rear fuselage. A6E Intruder began as advanced conversion of A6A with 240 converted with multi-mode radar and IBM computer first fitted to EA6B. First flight, 10th of November 1970, first deployed September 1972, approved for service November 1972, total of 205 new built A6Es funded by end of fiscal year 1988, of which 21 have composite wings, see below. U.S. Navy A6E squadrons are VA-52, VA-95, VA-115, and VA-128 training, which would be what, the um, VAT-128 maybe? Uh, VA-145, VA-155, VA-165, and VA-196 at Whidbey Island, Washington, with two rotated to Atsugi, Japan, VA-34, VA-35, VA-36, and VAT-42 training. Excuse me, VA-55, VA-65, VA-75, and VA-85 at Oceana, Virginia. Reserves VA-205 at Atlanta, Georgia. Marine squadrons are VMA-AW-224, VMA-AW-332, and VMA-AW-533 at Cherry Point, North Carolina, including one rotated to Atsugi, Japan. Program. 708 new A6 and EA6s built, about 375 still in service with U.S. Navy and Marine Corps squadrons, and three readiness training squadrons. First A6A entered service in February of 1963 with training squadron VA-42. First operational deployment with VA-75 May of 1965. Design features. Wings sweep back 25 degrees at quarter cord. Outer wing panels fold upward more than 90 degrees for stowage. Tram bail under nose, aft radome, survivability improvements incorporated, fire extinguishing system based on Halon uh, inserting fuel tanks, fire suppression in areas around fuselage fuel tanks, wing dry foam blocks, and self sealing fuel lines in engine cavities. Flying controls, hydraulic fully powered controls, slab tailplane, lateral control spoilers, ahead of near full span, fowler flaperons. Split surface air brakes and trailing edge outboard of flap rod. Sharp edge, leading edge stall strip next to fuselage with fixed drop section outboard, then long span leading edge slats. Fences near wing root and near tip. Structure conventional all metal, graphite epoxy wing being retrofitted, aluminum alloy control surfaces, and titanium high strength fittings such as wing fold. Landing gear hydraulically retractable tricycle type. Twin wheel nose unit retracts rearward, single wheel main units retract forward and inward into air intake fairings. A frame arrestor hook under rear fuselage, nose toe cap catapult fitting. Power plant, two 41.1 kN or 9,300 pounds force Pratt Whitney J52 P408 turbojets replacement by two 53.4 kN or 12,000 pound force J52 P409s under study. Max internal fuel capacity, 8,873 liters or 2,344 U.S. gallons or 1,952 imperial gallons. Provision for up to five external fuel tanks under wing and centerline stations, each of 1,135 liters or 300 U.S. gallons or 250 imperial gallons or 1,514 liters or 400 U.S. gallons or 333 imperial gallons capacity. Removable flight refueling probe projects upward immediately forward of windscreen. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Accommodation. Crew of two on Martin Baker GRU-7 ejection seats, which can be reclined to reduce fatigue during low-level operations. 
Bombardier Navigator slightly behind and below pilot to starboard. Hydraulically operated rearward sliding canopy. Avionics. Single Norton AN-APQ-148 or AN-APQ-156 simultaneous multi-mode nav attack radar, IBM, and Fairchild nav attack computer system and interfacing data converter. Conrack Corporation Armament Control Unit RCA videotape recorder for post-strike assessment of attacks. Replacement unit by Precision Echo to be retrofitted. Lipton ANALR 67 radar warning receiver radar provides simultaneous ground mapping, identification, tracking, and range finding of fixed or moving targets and terrain clearance or terrain following maneuvers. During 1981 and 1983, it was updated by an improved AMTI or airborne moving target indication to enhance its ability to detect moving targets. IBM ANASQ 133 or ANASQ 155 solid state digital computer is coupled to the A6E's radar, inertial and Doppler navigational equipment, communications, and AFCS. Fairchild signal data converter accepts analog input data from up to 60 sensors, converting data to a digital output that is fed into the Navitac system computer. Conrack Armament Control Unit, ACU, provides all inputs and outputs necessary to select and release weapons. Kaiser AN-AVA-1 multi-mode display serves as primary flight aid for navigation approach, landing, and weapons delivery. <coughs> Excuse me. Armament, five weapon attachment points, each with 1,633 kilograms or 3,600 pound capacity. Max external stores load 8,165 kilograms or 18,000 pounds. Typical weapon loads are 28 500-pound bombs in clusters of 6 or 3 2,000-pound general-purpose bombs plus up to two 1,135-liter or 300-US gallon or 250-imperial gallon drop tanks. AIM-9 Sidewinder can be carried for air-to-air -air use. Harpoon missile capability added to weapons complement of A6E tram. The arm missile has been test flown on the A6E. Up to 20 Brunswick Defense AN-ADM-141 tall tactical air launch decoy gliders or two in addition to normal bomb load. Flight and firing tests have been carried out with the AGM-123A Skipper II also on an A6E. Dimensions external. Wingspan 16.15 meters or 53 feet 0 inches. Wing mean aerodynamic core 3.32 meters or 10 feet 10 and 3 quarters inches. Width, wings folded, 7.72 meters or 25 feet 4 inches. Length overall, 16.69 meters or 54 feet 9 inches. Height overall, 4.93 meters or 16 feet 2 inches. Tailplane span, 6.21 meters or 20 feet 4 and a half inches. Wheel track, 3.32 meters or 10 feet 10 and 3 quarter inches. Wheelbase, 5.24 meters or 17 feet 2 and a quarter inches. Weights and loadings, weight empty, 12,525 kilograms or 27,613 pounds. Fuel load internal, 7,230 kilograms or 15,939 pounds. External with five tanks, 4,558 kilograms or 10,050 pounds. Max external load, 8,165 kilograms or 18,000 pounds. Max takeoff weight, catapult, 26,580 kilograms or 58,600 pounds. Field, 27,397 kilograms or 60,400 pounds. Max landing weight carrier, 16,329 kilograms or 36,000 pounds. Field, 20,411 kilograms or 45,000 pounds. Max wing loading, 557 kilograms per meter squared or 114.2 pounds per square foot. Max power loading 330.88 kilograms per kilonewton or 3.25 pounds per pound force. Performance, no stores except for, except for stated. Never exceed speed, 700 knots or 1,297 kilometers per hour or 806 miles per hour. Max level speed at sea level, 560 knots or 1,037 kilometers per hour or 644 miles per hour. Cruising speed at optimum altitude, 412 knots or 763 kilometers per hour or 474 miles per hour. Approach speed, 110 knots or 204 kilometers per hour or 127 miles per hour. Stalling speed, flaps up, 142 knots or 264 kilometers per hour or 164 miles per hour. Flap, oops, flaps down, 98 knots or 182 kilometers per hour or 113 miles per hour. Max rate of climb at sea level, 2,323 meters or 7,000, sorry, 
7,620 feet per minute. Service ceiling, 12,925 meters or 42,400 feet. Range with max military load, 878 nautical miles or 1,627 kilometers or 1,011 miles. Length 16.69 meters, height 4.93 meters, wingspan 16.15 meters, max takeoff weight 26,580 meters, max wing load 557 kilograms per meter squared, max level speed 500 knots, sorry, 516 knots. Service ceiling 12,925 meters, takeoff run 1,185 meters, landing run 521 meters, max rate of climb in meters per minute of 2,323. Here we can see the 3D view. Once again, very detailed. We can see the uh, nose probe there for fuel. You got the two Pratt & Whitney engines there. And you can see the crew of uh, one's pilot, one's uh, the navigator, and I think operates the attack equipment as well. Very long serving aircraft, which you can see by what I assume is supposed to be rust there from all the naval deployments, but uh, yeah, she finally got retired in the 2000s, so her long service has come to an end, but still a very iconic aircraft for uh, overseas American uh, um, involvement, let's say. But she just was outdated because, you know, when a strike fighter can carry as much as this guy and go... As the speed of sound, there's not much of a role for this guy. But that's how it is. And as it is, you know, the modern fighter can carry more ordnance than a World War II heavy bomber at short range. So, <laughs> except they can take it halfway across the world with in flight refueling and stuff. So, so that will conclude today's videos. I hope everyone stays safe out there with how dangerous the world is getting. So that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time. Stay safe out there and we'll see you then.